A thermistor is a type of resistor whose resistance is dependent on temperature, more so than in standard resistors. The word is a portmanteau of thermal and resistor. Thermistors are widely used as in-rush current limiter, temperature sensors, self-resetting overcurrent protectors, and self-regulating heating elements. Thermistors differ from resistance temperature detectors in that the material used in a thermistor is generally a ceramic or polymer, while RTDs use pure metals. The temperature response is also different. RTDs are useful over larger temperature ranges, while thermistors typically achieve a greater precision within a limited temperature range, typically minus 90 degrees Celsius to 130 degrees Celsius. Basic operation, assuming, as a first-order approximation, that the relationship between resistance and temperature is linear, then, where, change in resistance, change in temperature, first-order temperature coefficient of resistance thermistors can be classified into two types, depending on the classification of, if is positive, the resistance increases with increasing temperature and the device is called a positive temperature coefficient thermistor, or resistor. If is negative, the resistance decreases with increasing temperature, and the device is called a negative temperature coefficient thermistor. Resistors that are not thermistors are designed to have a as close to zero as possible, so that their resistance remains nearly constant over a wide temperature range. Instead of the temperature coefficient K, sometimes the temperature coefficient of resistance is used. It is defined as this coefficient should not be confused with the parameter below. Steinhardt Hart equation. In practice, the linear approximation works only over a small temperature range. For accurate temperature measurements, the resistance temperature curve of the device must be described in more detail. The Steinhardt Hart equation is a widely used third order approximation, where A, B, and C are called the Steinhardt Hart parameters and must be specified for each device. T is the absolute temperature and R is the resistance. To give resistance as a function of temperature, the above can be rearranged into where the error in the Steinhardt Hart equation is generally less than 0.02 degrees Celsius in the measurement of temperature over a 200 degrees Celsius range. As an example, typical values for a thermistor with a resistance of 3 K omega at room temperature are B or beta parameter equation. NTC thermistors can also be characterized with the B parameter equation, which is essentially the Steinhardt Hart equation with and, where the temperatures are in Kelvin and R0 is the resistance at temperature T0. Solving for I yields, or, alternatively, where, this can be solved for the temperature. The B parameter equation can also be written as, this can be used to convert the function of resistance versus temperature of a thermistor into a linear function of versus. The average slope of this function will then yield an estimate of the value of the B parameter. Conduction model NTC Many NTC thermistors are made from a pressed disc, rod, plate, bead or cast chip of semiconducting materials such as sintered metal oxides. They work because raising the temperature of a semiconductor increases the number of active charge carriers, it promotes them into the conduction band. The more charge carriers that are available, the more current a material can conduct. In certain materials like ferric oxide with titanium doping an N-type semiconductor is formed and the charge carriers are electrons. In materials such as nickel oxide with lithium doping a p-type semiconductor is created where holes are the charge carriers. This is described in the formula. Equals electric current equals density of charge carriers equals cross-sectional area of the material equals velocity of charge carriers equals charge of an electron. Over large changes in temperature, calibration is necessary. Over small changes in temperature, if the right semiconductor is used, the resistance of the material is linearly proportional to the temperature. There are many different semiconducting thermistors with a range from about 0.01 Kelvin to 2000 Kelvins. 
PTC Most PTC thermistors are made from doped polycrystalline ceramic and other compounds, which have the property that, that their resistance rises suddenly at a certain critical temperature. Barium titanate is ferroelectric and its dielectric constant varies with temperature. Below the Curie point temperature, the high dielectric constant prevents the formation of potential barriers between the crystal grains, leading to a low resistance. In this region the device has a small negative temperature coefficient. At the Curie point temperature, the dielectric constant drops sufficiently to allow the formation of potential barriers at the grain boundaries and the resistance increases sharply with temperature. At even higher temperatures, the material reverts to NTC behavior. Another type of thermistor is a silistor, a thermally sensitive silicon resistor. Silistors employ silicon as the semiconductive component material. Unlike ceramic PTC thermistors, silistors have an almost linear resistance temperature characteristic. Barium titanate thermistors can be used as self-controlled heaters, for a given voltage. The ceramic will heat to a certain temperature, but the power used will depend on the heat loss from the ceramic. The dynamics of PTC thermistors being powered also is extremely useful. When first connected to a voltage source, a large current corresponding to the low, cold, resistance flows but as the thermistor self-heats, the current is reduced until a limiting current is reached. The current limiting effect can replace fuses. They are also used in the Dugosin circuits of many court monitors and televisions where the Dugosin coil only has to be connected in series with an appropriately chosen thermistor. A particular advantage is that the current decreases smooth, producing optimum degaussing effect. Improved Dugosin circuits have auxiliary heating elements to heat the thermistor further or timed relays to disconnect the Dugosin circuit entirely after it has operated. Another type of PTC thermistor is the polymer PTC, which is sold under brand names such as Polyswitch, Semifuse, and Multifuse. This consists of plastic with carbon grains embedded in it. When the plastic is cool, the carbon grains are all in contact with each other, forming a conductive path through the device. When the plastic heats up, it expands, forcing the carbon grains apart, and causing the resistance of the device to rise, which then causes increased heating and rapid resistance increase. Like the Basha 3 thermistor, this device has a highly nonlinear resistance temperature response useful for thermal or circuit control, not for temperature measurement. Besides circuit elements used to limit current, self-limiting heaters can be made in the form of wires or strips, useful for heat tracing. PTC thermistors latch into a hot, low-resistance state. Once hot, they stay that way, until cooled. In fact, Neil A. Downey showed how you can use the effect as a simple latch memory circuit, the effect being enhanced by using two PTC thermistors in series, with thermistor A cool, thermistor B hot, or vice versa. Self-heating effects When a current flows through a thermistor, it will generate heat which will raise the temperature of the thermistor above that of its environment. If the thermistor is being used to measure the temperature of the environment, this electrical heating may introduce a significant error if a correction is not made. Alternatively, this effect itself can be exploited. It can, for example, make a sensitive airflow device employed in a sailplane rate of climb instrument, the electronic variometer, or serve as a timer for a relay as was formerly done in telephone exchanges. The electrical power input to the thermistor is just, where I is current and V is the voltage drop across the thermistor. This power is converted to heat, and this heat energy is transferred to the surrounding environment. The rate of transfer is well described by Newton's law of cooling, where T is the temperature of the thermistor as a function of its resistance R is the temperature of the surroundings and K is the dissipation constant, usually expressed in units of milliwatts per degree Celsius. 
At equilibrium, the two rates must be equal. The current and voltage across the thermistor will depend on the particular circuit configuration. As a simple example, if the voltage across the thermistor is held fixed, then by Ohm's law we have and the equilibrium equation can be solved for the ambient temperature as a function of the measured resistance of the thermistor. The dissipation constant is a measure of the thermal connection of the thermistor to its surroundings. It is generally given for the thermistor in still air and in well-stirred oil. Typical values for a small glass speed thermistor are 1.5 mW degree C in still air and 6.0 mW degree C in stirred oil. If the temperature of the environment is known beforehand, then a thermistor may be used to measure the value of the dissipation constant. For example, the thermistor may be used as a flow rate sensor. Since the dissipation constant increases with the rate of flow of a fluid past the thermistor, the power dissipated in a thermistor is typically maintained at a very low level to ensure insignificant temperature measurement error due to self-heating. However, some thermistor applications depend upon significant self-heating to raise the body temperature of the thermistor well above the ambient temperature so the sensor then detects even subtle changes in the thermal conductivity of the environment. Some of these applications include liquid level detection, liquid flow measurement and airflow measurement applications. PTC as current limiting devices for circuit protection, as replacements for fuses. Current through the device causes a small amount of resistive heating. If the current is large enough to generate more heat than the device can lose to its surroundings, the device heats up, causing its resistance to increase. This creates a self-reinforcing effect that drives the resistance upwards, therefore limiting the current. As time is in the Dugos and coil circuit of most court displays, when the display unit is initially switched on, current flows through the thermistor and a Gossin coil. The coil and thermistor are intentionally sized so that the current flow will heat the thermistor to the point that the Dugos and coil shuts off in under a second. For effective dugossing, it is necessary that the magnitude of the alternating magnetic field produced by the dugossing coil decreases smoothly and continuously. Rather than sharply switching off or decreasing in steps, the PTC thermistor accomplishes this naturally as it heats up. A dugossing circuit using a PTC thermistor is simple, reliable, and inexpensive. As heater in automotive industry to provide additional heat inside cabin with diesel engine or to heat diesel in cold climatic conditions before engine injection. In temperature compensated synthesizer voltage controlled oscillators. In lithium battery protection circuits. In an electrically actuated wax motor to provide the heat necessary to expand the wax. NTC is resistance thermometers in low temperature measurements of the order of 10K, as in rush current limiting devices in power supply circuits. They present a higher resistance initially which prevents large currents from flowing at turn on, and then heat up and become much lower resistance to allow higher current flow during normal operation. These thermistors are usually much larger than measuring type thermistors and are purposely designed for this application. As sensors in automotive applications to monitor things like coolant or oil temperature inside the engine, and provide data to the AQ and to the dashboard, to monitor the temperature of an incubator. Thermistors are also commonly used in modern digital thermostats and to monitor the temperature of battery packs while charging. Thermistors are often used in the hot ends of 3D printers, they monitor the heat produced and allow the printer's control circuitry to keep a constant temperature for melting the plastic filament. In the food handling and processing industry, especially for food storage systems and food preparation, maintaining the correct temperature is critical to prevent foodborne illness.
Throughout the consumer appliance industry for measuring temperature, toasters, coffee makers, refrigerators, freezers, hair dryers, etc., all rely on thermistors for proper temperature control. NTC thermistors come in bare and lugged forms. The former is for point sensing to achieve high accuracy for specific points, such as laser diode dye, etc. History the first NTC thermistor was discovered in 1833 by Michael Faraday, who reported on the semiconducting behavior of silver sulfide. Faraday noticed that the resistance of silver sulfide decreased dramatically as temperature increased, because early thermistors were difficult to produce and applications for the technology were limited. Commercial production of thermistors did not begin until the 1930s. A commercially viable thermistor was invented by Samuel Rubin in 1930.